Today we have a giant Littlest Pet Shop uh, thrift haul. Let's start with this bag. So this is the first one, a little froggy. She is different from the two froggies I have, so I'm super excited for this one. And these are Littlest Pet Shop, but they're not your typical Littlest Pet Shop. Oh, okay. Oh my gosh. That's hilarious. This one is the same. So I'll have to turn her on as well. Oh no, is she not working? <laughs> well, she doesn't seem to be working. But this is pretty cool. These um, walk around. Awesome. And we have a lovely piggy. So when I was talking to the guy, um, I could only s go to the flea market on um, Saturday. So he said I missed a giant bag for $20 of, a, of LPS. So I was really upset about that. But maybe next time I'll get it before somebody else does. Here's another piggy. Let's see if it focuses. There we go. Let's see how she compares to this piggy. Their faces are super cute. I love the design on the right one. Oh, he's got like little bows. Very, very cute. These are excellent piggies. I do not have any piggies yet, so awesome, awesome. This is a dragonfly, and oh, she comes with a collar. Very cute. Oh, and a crown. I just realized. Very, very cute. Here is another froggy. Now, this one also varies from my other three froggies, so very excited about that. And we have a few little things. Um, these are not little pet shop. And when you thrift for little pet shops, sometimes you'll buy things that aren't little pet shop in the bag. Here to be, here seems to be like a little baby or like a pet of a little pet shop, like a little friend. Looks like it's a deer of some sort. This was the one I was the most excited for. Um, it seems to be a bunny with a hat. So very, very happy with the bunny. I thought she was very cute. And this looks like our last little special from this bag. This is a cow. Moo. She is like an off-white, and she has some marks on her eyeball and her face. Um, but if you've seen my other previous videos where I clean some of these LPS, these um, marks come off pretty easy. I just realized I thought this was marker. No, that's a tongue, and that is that is permanent. So very cute. She's got some little like dirt, but that's super easy to clean off. So very excited with that. Here, let's put maybe the Moo Moo over here. Um, and then we have little things in the bottom of the bag. So these are, <laughs> we have a little pig. Um, I don't know, like a transformer. Hello Kitty. And um, a little girl that had squishy. So sometimes that happens, like I said. Um, and then I found another vendor who was selling um, Littlest Pet Shops in um, bags separately. So this one is $3. And um, she's a little dirty. I do not have this kitty. I have other kitties that are similar to her. But um, nothing the same. And you can even notice the dirt, sort of. It's a little hard to see, but um, she's very pretty, very cute. And oops. And um, I just feel like she can easily be cleaned up. Um, there was a dog at this same booth, but I realized right before I was going to purchase the Little Pet Shop dog that um, it was missing its ears. So I ended up not purchasing that dog. Alright, and then we have another bag. Now, you may think, oh, there's no little sweat shop in this. Oh, yes, there is. <laughs> um, I've counted, at first I thought there were two, but there is a third. 
in this bag. So we will start with the things that are not Littlest Pet Shop. Um, we have a, I think from the movie Madagascar. For a second, I thought it might have water in it and I didn't want to spray it on the camera. So I went like this. I think this, I'm not sure what this thing does. I thought maybe it sprayed water. Um, it's questionable what it does. We have a little mousey. Wow, I love how the tag is up the same size of the mouse. I think this is just a, oh, I will give this to Bueller. Bueller, Bueller will actually love this as a dog toy, but you know what? I'm going to remove this string. Oh, did you hear that at the door? Bueller wants it now. <laughs> Bueller loves squeaky toys, but I um, think this is pretty dangerous and this is pretty dangerous. So um, I'm not going to let Bueller play with this with both of those things. So Bueller gets a toy out of this. So excellent for Bueller. Um, there's this thing. It's, um, interesting. It must make noises. I think I've seen these before. I'm not sure exactly what it does. If you know, comment below. And we got an Oreo cookie. So this is kind of cool. Alright, so we have three little sweatshops. shops. Here is the first one. It is a monkey. It's an older little spent shop. Very cute. It has like a little splash of yellow on its head. Oh, look at this. We have a bulldog that matches our other bulldog. Where is that guy? Here he is. Here is my other bulldog you may recognize in the fake LPS episode. Um, but yeah, here is another gray blue bulldog very very cool and then um this is the last thing i'm gonna show you this is a little carrier and we have a surprise inside okay before you watch comment below who do you think it is who do you think it is pause the video all right all right we're gonna check it out it is a widow doggy a little doggy very excellent. He's pretty cute. Hmm. I believe he's real. Yes, he's real. <laughs> His head's a little squishy, like you guys have said in other videos. Squishy heads just mean they sat in the sun a little bit, so who knows? Um, but he's pretty cute. So thank you very much for watching, you guys.